Hey YouTube, this is the Elemental Maker, and today I'm going to show you a pretty cool modification I did on the GO704 CNC milling machine that'll make tramming a whole lot easier. Alright guys, so this is a uh, bracket that I made that essentially pinches the column. Um, so that you can more accurately control your tilt. So the way the column tilts this way. And then you can see I also tapped the column here on both sides. So I have one bracket on each side. So you can really lock in your tilt. And then you can also lock in your nod. Um, and that will let you really tram this thing in much more accurately than you can do from the factory. From the factory you only have these four bolts which I wasn't able to get this sucker trammed in all that well, unfortunately. Um, and actually, after taking off the column, um, I noticed that the base of this, uh, that's actually, I should say the face that is bolted to the base of the mill, looks like it was actually ground with a, uh, like a, a rotary grinder. It's, it's pretty darn ugly. So... I wasn't able to tram it in all that accurately. <laughs> uh, if any of you guys have taken your column off and maybe have seen that, let me know. Uh, I'd be curious to see if that's that was a custom one-off jobby for mine or if uh, that's a typical of the Chinese factory. So let me uh, grab a wrench and show you guys how, how it works, although you can probably figure it out yourself. All right, so the process would basically be you have these four bolts just slightly loosened. Um, I actually have my head off right now because I'm upgrading the spindle bearings as well. But um, you would have these obviously tightened down. I'm using a uh, metric here, which isn't correct for the... Uh, American fasteners that I used. It's going off center there, I'm sorry. And one thing I'm actually going to make is some brass uh, contacts there. So it's not actually, you know, steel on iron. I don't want to deform the column. I'd rather have a little quarter inch diameter piece of brass uh, nicely drifted in there. So that these screws uh, instead contact the brass, not directly on the column. So basically these you would, you know, essentially have your uh, pro tram or indicator in the spindle and you would uh, check for you know the squareness of the column you can make adjustments here and lock it in on both sides and then you can check this direction and modify those I have it pretty tight at this point because I uh, I used a machinist square to make sure that the column is nice and square but um yeah, it's a pretty cool modification, pretty easy to do. Um, I was fortunately able to use the help of an old high school shop teacher um, who, who really, you know, kind of assisted me big time because he has a really nice mill with a digital readout, a lot of experience. He's a great guy and was able to uh, really think this idea up and uh, execute it and uh, help me along the way. So big shout out goes goes to him some pretty thick aluminum so uh, I don't think any you know movement will be an issue there it, it's some pretty strong stuff so once this column is locked in it should not move anywhere and then of course once you get it fully dialed in you would uh, totally you know secure those down Probably in a you know crisscross pattern or whatever to minimize movement. Double check with an indicator or pro tram again, and then you're you're fully trammed. So pretty cool setup. I think it's really going to come in handy. Keep this machine nice and accurate. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked it, make sure you uh, like this video and subscribe. Have a good one.